the poem by robert burns a red red rose was written in 1794 and printed in 1796 uh, on the superficial uh, reading this song uh, looks simple um, full of sentiment but this is something at a complex level uh, that shows a lover's promises those promises that are full of contradictions ironies paradoxes uh the first thing that a reader should realize that uh, robert burns constructed this poem stanza by stanza um, by deconstructing old songs and ballads uh, he used it uh, in a way he revised and improved uh, let us see it uh, stanza by stanza uh, if i summarize it it is uh, Uh, a plea of the speaker who bids farewell farewell to his beloved and promises to return to her no matter the hardship the difficulty the poem opens with the speaker comparing his beloved to a red rose and praising her beauty he declares that his love for her is so deep and everlasting that it will survive until the sea dries up he promises that although he must leave he will come back even he must travel 10000 miles to do so so uh, there are some comparisons that are made uh, between robert burns uh, this particular poem uh, with the main source that the wanton wife of castle gate her cheeks are like the roses that blossom fresh in june um this this particular poem there is this emphasis on the redness of the rose the red red rose uh the poet demonstrates uh, his seeming artlessness as a sign of sincerity and the readers who analyze this poem uh with these some other uh, literary theories like one i am um, reminded of as new criticism or some other critical approaches of 20th century they have this uh, uh the the contradictory elements jo uh, they work against this the speaker's innocent protestations of love you just see the first two lines uh of of the second stanza because uh, they do not complete uh, that expected thought that logical thought that that is uh generally uh, expected from the reader so deep in love am i that means that i cannot bear to leave my beloved but what do we get we see the speaker rhetorically protest his love through a series of boasts show off his love will last until the seas go dry until rocks meet melt with the sun he will continue to love while the sands of life shall run yet so said fast a lover after all is departing from his beloved not staying by her side for whatever reason he is compelled to leave her rather than remain with her and then you get uh, towards the final exaggerated promise that he will return to her though the journey takes a thousand miles it seems far fetched even ironically humorous too uh, this titanic effort uh, if if he wants that titanic effort why shouldn't he simply stay with her so we have these paradoxical reflections and they change this reading because uh, the basic reading can be a pure lyric but it it can be read in a form of irony because we are not able to reconcile with the level of common sense uh like there are there are some questions what lover has not exaggerated his or her emotions everyone in love exaggerate and uh another question uh 
that we need to ask are these exaggerated promises of the speaker any less sincere for being illogical so no matter how the reader resolves this issue he or she cannot help but admire this beautiful beautiful poem